They look amazing. Thank you. These creative canines are here for their annual vaccinations. I'm just deciding do we charge for seeing one patient or, or two. <laughs> but first, Chris gets a rundown on these unique works of art. That's the dream catcher from Possum Magic. Is there another creature on the other side? That... Yes, he's got a koala on the other side. He's just a, a walking Australian encyclopedia of, of wildlife, really, isn't he? This creative grooming can really polarise people. Some people love it, while others seem to think it's quite ridiculous. I don't really have a problem with it because, to me, it's just another way for people to show their love towards their animals. <laughs> I grew up with a poodle. Can I show you a picture of Claude? You can. Just let me know where I was going right or wrong. I used to have a poodle who I used to dress up in some pretty crazy gear. So maybe I'm not that different. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? It's very cute. How old was he? He was he was old enough to know that, that he shouldn't have been dressed like that. Yeah. <laughs> and so was I. I was old enough to know I shouldn't have done it to him. <laughs> It's a hell of an effort for, for one animal, but it's important. That's it, Hugo. We're getting there, buddy. Just one more step and he's on. We've got a trail. Good boy. Ultimately, the food always wins. That's it. A little bit more. He's on. What is he? 165.5. I lost. I wasn't even close. I was surprised at the weight. He was, you know, a quarter heavier than I thought he was going to be, and he holds it well. It was horrible. He screams as soon as you put him down or pick him up or, you know, touch him in a new place, he screams. Um, so we don't really know what's, what's going on with him. All right, pop him down on the table. We'll have a look at him. Hey, Shiva. One dog picked him up. Um, and the other bit him when he tried to run off. And... OK. When a small dog who's three kilos, like Shiva, has been picked up by a 20-plus kilo dog, shaken around by the neck, there's a potential for some massive crushing injuries, some massive internal injuries that we don't even see from the outside. Just checking for a broken jaw or anything like that, so that's, that feels good. Mouth looks OK. Good thing is he's moving air really nicely through his chest, which is very, very good. A bit shocked as well. <laughs> OK, honey. You're all right. You look at Shiver and he doesn't look too bad, but you touch him and he screams. This little dog is absolutely terrified and in a lot of pain. Let's pop him on the ground and see what he can... Shiver! 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 darling. Got to pick you up. I don't deal with the animal being in pain very well at all. I'm a big wuss like that. Big, big wuss. There's a bit of bruising there, yeah. you see? Yeah. And then you can see over here, um, it's much redder. So I think we should shave him. What we'll do today is we'll start off with just some blood tests to make sure everything's OK, there's no major internal bleeding, and then taking some x-rays of him and see what we can see. <coughs> oh, he's so sore. What really bothers me is that he's in a lot of pain, and we might just be dealing with the tip of the iceberg when we look at his skin. Good amount, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to treat him for his fleas. And we're going to use a spray that's going to kill the fleas straight away. You like that? You don't mind this bit, do you? This is a high energy nutrient supplement. It also has some iron in there as well. Do you look at that? Hmm? Oh, you're coming around to it, aren't you? Oh, you like that. <laughs> you can have the finger as well. With a little help from the Nutrigel, Samson swallows the tablets that will eradicate the worms and blood parasites. It's, it's the chunky stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It tastes a bit different to the last one you had, isn't it? Got him a beauty. Now that I've treated Samson, I've essentially done everything I can. He now needs to rest. He needs to build up those energy reserves so that he has a chance to see it right through to tomorrow. See you in the morning, you can. Thanks. You can have all the expensive blood tests and ultrasounds and x-rays you like, but ultimately, this is the best test of all. It's been a slow rehabilitation, but finally, Samson's red blood cell count is back up, and so is his energy. 
We spent all yesterday doing up the house, put out all these flea bombs and everything else is spotless ready for him. And we've actually figured out he's spent nearly as much time with the vets than he has with us. So we're just hoping that he remembers that we love him. <laughs> oh, I don't know, have you met my cat? <laughs> this is Samson. Oh, he's, um, oh. what, you, do you know them, Samson? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you take him back. We can't thank Chris enough. Like, I'm, I'm actually completely in awe of what he's done. Okay, time to get the rest of your lives together. Thank you so much. It's okay. <laughs> no worries. Are you getting a little bit emotional? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I'm, I'm hard, a hard professional. <laughs> to bring a little kitten back from where he was is just amazing. See you, little buddy. Take care, all right? We just don't know what she is. She's a bit of a cutie. Well, she's white now. <laughs> she's a dog. <laughs> yeah, we've got that far. Hello. At the Bondi Clinic, the subject of dog breeds has also become a talking point. This little girl is, I think, about 12 weeks old and um, she's up for adoption and I'm considering adopting her. My main worry is to find out if there's some pit bull in her. Um, I believe they're not all bad, but um, I'm just still concerned about that type of breed of dog with a young child. I'll give you my opinion. Bull Terrier cross Kelpie, but there is actually a way to be exact. Really? Yeah, okay. so we can actually take a DNA test. Wow. And, and the truth will be revealed. A $120 DNA test will now decide Snowy's future. There's a very serious side to this test. I mean, from Sue's point of view, she needs to know that Snowy is going to be safe and a good dog to have around the family. But from Snowy's point of view, it's even more dramatic because a bad result here and she could be heading straight back to the pound. Here we go. Here you go. Hey. Straight between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> it was the quickest way. Yeah. <laughs> She's loving that. <laughs> so if she was stressed, she wouldn't be playing. Yeah. She's having a, a wonderful time. She's taken fabulously. She's running around like a little cheetah should at this age and playing and having a ball and totally relaxed. The crucial thing here is that she's able to follow and really listen to her keepers. It's almost like a cheetah version of puppy training, but if they don't get it right now, then when she's fully grown and really able to cause some damage, it could get really dangerous. Tilly, come, come. All right, and now ask come. her to sit. Sit, sit Tilly, sit. The reason that we're doing the training is so that people can get up close and personal with this cheetah, so that she will sit and she will come when we call her and we can allow people then to go in with her and, and have a wonderful experience um, of meeting a, an endangered species. This is Sheba. This is one of our cats. Uh, she is going to have an interesting time with the dogs, I think. Absolutely. She owns this place. Pets enrich your life in such a way nothing else can. It's one thing having a family, but pets bring a completely different dimension to it. Introducing the cats to the dogs will be a major thing because I don't want the dogs to see the cats as toys, and I don't want the cats to scratch the puppies either. I want a happy household if I can help it. I would definitely be keeping them quite separate in the separate beginning, in the beginning. Okay. for quite a few months. Just like you can't force people to like each other. If they like each other, they like each other, and if they don't, they don't. Oh, yeah, we have a lot to learn. What's, what's her name? Bluebell. Bluebell. Oh, no, Bluebell. That's Bluebell. 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 Yeah, she adopted from here. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, Bluebell. 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 Blueb
And there comes a time in a young man, man's life where they ask you what you're going to be when you're older. And I can tell you. And you're going to be an assistant dog, aren't you? Well, this is just the start of something massive. They've got such an important role with people with disabilities. They're born to give the best to somebody that can't give the best to themselves. I would never have imagined being able to be a part of something like this. I think they're in very good hands. Okay. All right, take care. Okay, thank you. No problem. I would hope after everything I've seen tonight and how amazing Jodie's been, that assistance dogs might look at her and go, you'd make a pretty good puppy raiser and she can have at least one of these puppies. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. I can't describe the love I feel already for Brielle and these pups. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.